This is Dirk Nansen with Waterline Boats and Boat Shed Seattle. Today we're looking at a 47 Sunford Pilot House trawler. This is a world cruiser design. It is a single engine full displacement hull, 210 horsepower Cummins with track hydraulic stabilization. Give you a comfortable ride even offshore. This particular boat's been to Alaska multiple times. It's been to the Galapagos Islands and back. It is a capable offshore cruiser. You can go anywhere you want. It's got 1,300 gallons of fuel, 600 gallons of water, fuel polishing system, bypass oil filtration, 45 gallon per hour water maker. You enter over the swim step into the cockpit. The cockpit has a hard top extension from the boat deck. It is fully enclosed with canvas and eyes and glass. Large sliding door into the main salon allows you to incorporate the cockpit as part of the main salon. In the salon, you can see a couch to the port side, which folds out to a double berth. You've got a chest freezer there for food storage. Additional food storage and a small refrigerator under counter to starboard, as well as the main refrigerator and freezer in the galley. Galley is a large uh, open galley with great visibility on the main level. Got a serious pilot house with 360 degree visibility, good electronics. Behind the pilot house is seating and a pilot berth behind that. Visibility is excellent on all sides and to the rear. On the port side, we got the navigation area for charts. You got a laptop, spare GPS, and you got the ICOM single sideband, ICOM DSC DHS with Mobile Tech AIS system. You got a the small Furuno backup radar, color video sounder. Bruno multifunction display with large radar and chart plotting, interface forward looking sonar, Dell laptop with Noble Tech software, you can see the Furuno remote control there, Arcturus 10 inch hydraulic bow thruster, ComNav 1101 autopilot, track hydraulic stabilization system. This boat is ready to go and can go anywhere you want. Forward in the berthing area on the bulkhead, you can see the control panel for the 45 gallon per hour water maker. Bow compartment has standard V berth, single berth to each side, good storage. The anchor chain locker is actually being used for storage because this uses a hydraulic cable drum winch with a wire anchor tackle. Guest head is equipped for a shower but it's not being used in this configuration. Uses vacuum flush toilets. Blackwater is treated with an MSD system. Aft and downstairs, we come to the main stateroom. There is a hair built in clothes washer dryer machine, a full island queen berth, good walk around space, it's a large, spacious compartment, good storage, full size closets. starboard we have the end suite head. This is a roomy head with a second vacuum flush toilet. Aft we have a shower stall with a foot tub. In the pilot house there's sliding doors on each side and we can go out and aft up onto the boat deck. You've got the 14 and a half foot Falco skiff, 25 horsepower outboard. That boat's got full navigation gear, fish finder, downriggers, rod holders set up as a fishing machine. It's launched with the boom and electric winch off the tripod mast arrangement. You saw a 760 watt solar panel array there that'll provide 40 to 60 amp 12 volt charging for the batteries. Got good walkways on all sides. High railings makes it safe to get out here, even fairly rough seas. Although, with that track stabilization system, it should have a good ride. Hydraulic drum winch carries 450 feet of 3 8 stainless steel wire, as well as 75 feet of chain. Good anchoring system. Over the pilot house, you can see that tripod mast with two radars. 
You can see the full listing for this boat at waterlineboats.com or boatshedseattle.com. Take a look at this boat. I think you'll be very impressed. This is Dirk Manson. Thank you.